is Robert Alewine. He is the owner. He is, I've seen his video. He is uh, demonstrating his pottery. took a portion of wedged clay, probably three or say four pounds, and he put it on a bat and he centered it. And now he's uh, working it, you know, lifting it, pushing it down, getting all the air pockets out of it. Now he's opening it up so that he can make the cavity that will be the interior. He's lifting, he's pulling it, lifting that clay up to make it as tall as he wants it to be. And he's using pressure from his, just his fingers. He's using pressure from his right hand and his left hand. From the inside, having the fingers, one to the right, one to the left, you can just feel your fingers through the clay when you're lifting. Finger marks are evident outside and inside, and that indicates that it's not a machine made, machine made piece. Okay, this has probably been setting about um, maybe three days. Right. Um, it's ideal to do it after 24 hours. Do you do you keep it? You keep it covered, keep it covered. until and let it slowly. I'm just an art student at the University of North Alabama, okay. and I'm taking um, a third level ceramics class, an advanced ceramics class. And so the pieces that I'm doing uh, require just a project. Find a, a potter that's well known, that you respect their work, and then uh, just do a presentation about how they approach their projects several years ago and bought some pieces for me and that's what got me aware of who you are and where you are. Do you throw? Yes. Do you throw and carving? And car well, I haven't done a lot of carving yet, but I want to. You know, with pottery and make something with your hands, it's, there's some imperfections, but that's what gives it care. Exactly. Still, it's completed one process except for the handle. And he will add that later. And he will pull that handle. Or this appears to be a slab piece, not pulled. So this is a, probably a slab that will be added later. But this is obviously the spout. And the glazing is very important to it, as you can see. And it looks like he's applied um, leaf that will come later. And I don't know what his glazing process is, but it's quite nice. Here, he's probably put something like resist on here to keep it more of the natural stoneware. And once you do that, uh, when you glaze it, everything glazes except that. And then when it fires, it burns out. Well, my favorite thing was to see Robert Alewine. I've seen and been wanting to meet him and see his work, and I didn't realize what a great operation he has here. He's really promoting pottery. He is promoting the artist, and I think it's a great thing. It's nice to see an artist that has a venture that's very successful, and a lot of people here in Gatlinburg see that. So that makes me proud of what I do.